What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Toy Room Renovation right here on the Slam Sessions. This is YouTube. I am Albert Albanese, and yes, I have less of a beard. I'm going to play, so I had to shave a little bit. It'll grow back. It's hair, right? Um, moving past that, this is another one of those episodes that the word renovation really comes into play because this week we're doing a little bit more renovating on the toy room. If you remember, I had taken down my Hasbro display in order to make room for the WCW ring with the idea that the Hasbro display was going to be put right back up, but I had to construct something for it. Well, the construction process is finished. We have a completed piece put together now, and all we got to do is put our Hasbros in there, and that'll be our display. So usually we start with purchases, but this week I'm going to start off by showing you guys this piece. I'm going to put out my Hasbros, and uh, we're going to take a look at how the piece looks, and I'm going to put out my Hasbros, and then we'll get into everything else. All right, so here's the unit that we're going to be using. So this is, uh, you know, completely built out to fit specifically just these Hasbro size figures. So uh, I figure if I have a little bit of extra room, I can put some of the new retro style figures up there as well. But this is what we're going to be filling up. As you can see, I kind of put this WWE um, the card backing inserts from some of the elites up there to kind of give it a little bit of a background. And I have the shelves in there. So the next step is to just fill everything up. So here we have it. So as you can see, there's some spaces left. That's because this is actually fit to house every single Hasbro ever made. So as you can see, I have some spaces left here up on the top shelf. Um, but what I'm going to end up doing inevitably is filling those in once I start getting more Hasbros uh, over the years. This is going to be a very long, arduous collection, but everything is going to fit in here. We go second shelf. This is mostly like the tag teams um, up here. Um, on the second shelf, then we have the third shelf here, which is more, uh, intercontinental champions. Mostly this shelf is kind of full. As you can see, I have that WWE plate there because the rockers don't really stand too well. I could fit a, maybe another one or two on here, but the bottom is kind of packed out here. This is kind of, you know, the remainder of uh, what we have here. So, uh, as you can see, you know, we're, we're pretty full down here. So, uh, you know, but we still do have some room up here. We have some room on this shelf and we have some room at the top. So really excited, uh, with how this came out. And that means if there's nothing up here, that means there's space for something. So, uh, we'll see what we're going to inevitably put up on top. All right, well, that brings an end to today's episode. So, as you can see, the Hasbro display is now completely fully up, and we're rocking and rolling with it. So, um, I'm really excited that they have a home. Uh, next week, we're going to fill in the space underneath uh, where the WCW ring was. We're going to do a whole other construction for some more shelves to put some other stuff in there. So, as you can see, these episodes are getting more and more um, renovation-y, if you want to, you know say it that way i guess uh i'm actually really changing a lot of different things in the room i'm going to be updating a lot of different stuff as time's going on so thank you guys for being here thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you next time